All right, good morning, guys. Uh, we'll get started with our IST Athlete Daily Workout uh, for warm up today. Let me pull up our share screen mode. Super easy function here. Allows us to see the board a little bit more clearly. I hope you guys like that. Um, five minute AMRAP. We'll go 25 jumping jacks, 10 bird dog total. So if you go five each side, five inchworm push up, and then 10 ladder lunges. That is also total. So we're going to hit five on each side. I'm going to demonstrate a few reps of each movement here. I'll show how we would set up the clock and then we'll get started. So for today, like I said, we're gonna go five minute AMRAP. So we would set five minutes on the clock. We're going in 10 jumping jacks. We should know that one, but pretty straightforward. During the five minute AMRAP, I don't care if we vary up the jumping jack as well. We can go traditional, seal jacks, split jacks, doesn't matter to me, we can do 25 reps there, into 10 bird dog. I'll give a side profile view, that's probably the easiest way to see it. I want to start in a good quadruped position, so all fours. Opposite foot, opposite hand, I'm reaching. Notice my hips stay square to the ground. As such. 10 reps there, you're going to five inch more push-ups as we are going to do some push-ups later today. Walk your hands out, keep your legs nice and long. Good top of the push-up position. Walk your hands back in as such. And then lastly, we are going to do 10 lateral lunges. Take a nice wide sumo stance. From here, try to touch your butt to your heel. As you go down, as such, you'd work through 10 total reps there. Um, five minute AMRAP, so after your 10 lunges, you'd go back to the top on the jumping jack. Like I said, maybe on round one, I'm doing normal jump jacks. Maybe on round two, I'm doing split jacks. Round three, seal jacks. Have a little bit of variation there, it's okay. Enjoy the warm up uh, as we're getting ready to keep moving through the workout. We will go back to the whiteboard view. All right. So for core, we're gonna go three rounds today, a 10 second pillar bird dog. You're gonna pause, so this is 10 total, just to clarify. Three second pause on each rep. This is the most challenging, in my opinion, um, Pillar variation, really, really tough. We really want to focus on maintaining a strong belly and not overcompensating and rotating. So I'll demonstrate that. We're going to do eight each way, so clockwise and counterclockwise of a leg circle plus a lift, really focusing on maintaining good contact with our low back and the floor. That's what we want. We don't want to get into an overextended position on the ground. I'll demonstrate a good rep and a bad rep uh, to make a little bit more sense of that. 10 each leg, fire hydrant plus donkey kick. We've been doing this for a few weeks, so should get, be pretty familiar with that. We just want to feel outside hip and glute. Uh, and again, focus on keeping your hips square to the ground. That's the goal. You will rest one minute following each round. So I would do 10, eight each way, 10 each leg, and then I get to rest a minute. And we would do three rounds. This is probably going to take, uh, you know, somewhere between nine to 12 minutes. Um, so set a clock for 12 minutes. You should have plenty of rest there and plenty of time to complete both. If you're a little bit crunched on time, nine minutes is certainly doable. So I'll demonstrate each of the movements here. I will set the clock for nine minutes um, as I'm pretty familiar with these movements, pretty comfortable. And I want to, you know, kind of facilitate moving through it at a good pace. Um, it's a really simple way to try to improve your fitness, do a little bit more work in a shorter amount of time. So, we'll go nine minutes here. I'm gonna start with 10 pillar bird dog each way. I'll demonstrate what I'm talking about with that three second pause. So I get to my good top of the push up position from here, one, Two, three, one, two, three. Really challenging. Okay, so focus on staying nice and balanced. 
over a bit long. And staying nice and stacked through our shoulders and our hips. What we don't want to see is us rotating all over the place. You'll do 10 total reps, three second pause on each rep. Eight clockwise, eight counterclockwise of our leg circle plus lift. So I'll demonstrate that. Again, focus on keeping that low back engaged to the floor. From here, I get my leg circle plus my lift. Watch my hips on this next rep here. It's, this is going to be a bad repetition. Um, I lose that contact with the floor. Yes, my circle is bigger, but larger range of motion is not always necessarily better. Um, in this case, it is not. So I make a massive circle, but I lose my low back here. We want contact with the floor, as big of a circle as we can get, maintaining the good position. Okay, I thought the recording sounded really good stuff. Um, and then lastly, we're gonna go 10 each leg, fire hydrant plus donkey kick. I'll demonstrate that from the side profile view as that's easiest to see here. Again, we wanna feel outside hip glutes, so I'm gonna start on all fours, drive that knee up and out at a 45 degree angle. What I don't wanna see is this. Hip stay square to the ground, and then donkey kick, heel to the ceiling. I would do 10 on one side and then 10 on the other. Following that, so that took me, you know, two and a half minutes. I would rest one minute and then I would start into round two. Okay. We'll keep rolling here. We'll get into our strength for today. This will be the final week of this strength progression. Um, so if you remember from two weeks ago now, actually it would be three, three weeks ago, um, we did uh, the max set of push-up, air squat, and overhead press test, uh, just to kind of give us a baseline. We've been working in EMOM for the last few weeks, increasing the percentage of how much we are doing in that minute. So I think I used 30 repetitions as an example of my max set of push-ups. Last week we were at 45%, this week we're at 50, so we're gonna try to do 15 push-ups each minute for six minutes. If we did not perform that max set, we're gonna cap our working time at 50 seconds of work. You'll do that for the push-up for six minutes. You would rest two minutes before you go to the air squat, same thing, maybe I did you know, a max set of 50 air squats. I would be doing 25 air squats every minute or cap it at 50 seconds of work because I know some of us probably did, you know, upwards of potentially maybe like 100 or more unbroken air squats in a row. So we're going to cap that at 50 seconds of work for the six minute EMA. You would rest two minutes, then we go into our overhead press. Um, same structure here. This is probably the most attainable one. Uh, probably similar to the push-ups. Again, just as in past weeks, try to utilize the same load or weight that you were using in past weeks. We, we don't want that to fluctuate um, if we're kind of already adjusting our training, focusing on increasing more reps. If we're also increasing load, um, that's, that's good, but that's not what we're looking for in this kind of training here. So I'll briefly go over the movement standards and kind of expectations on what we want for quality push-up air squat and overhead press. Um, and then I'll show how the clock would get set up in that work to rest. So for our push up, we want to first get to that good pillar position, that good top of the push up. Wrists are in line with shoulders from here. Elbows stay nice and close to the body. As such, Okay, chest to the floor, just like that. This can also be done from the knees. Notice my hip and shoulder angle here. 
My hips do not stay high like this. I notice that extended position. That is bad. Hips align on shoulders, just like our normal push up. On the air squat, side profile, really simple here. I'm going to get below 90 degrees. Full extension at the top, nice and easy there. On our overhead press, we want to really focus on getting that good overhead position. So from here, whatever I'm utilizing, maybe it's a backpack, bag of sand, dog food. From here, press up and through into that good overhead position. Not finishing in this kind of position where I'm way overextended, ribs should stay down as I press the walk out, okay? I'll go over that format of the EMOM 6 with a two minute rest, so I'll demonstrate uh, how that would look on the clock here. So six, actually let's go. We're gonna go three sets. So we have three different intervals. We're gonna go six minutes. And then our rest is two minutes. So on minute one, I'd go in 10 seconds. I would work for the first minute. And then I would rest the remaining amount of time before I start my second minute. Two full minutes of rest before I go on to my next station. You're only gonna do one set of push-ups, or sorry, one six minute EMOM of push-ups, one six minute EMOM of air squats, and one six minute EMOM of the overhead press. You're not gonna do three sets of uh, six minutes, just to clarify. You'd have three separate sets there. Finally, we'll get into the conditioning. We're gonna stick with the EMOM theme. We're gonna go EMOM 10. All movements are performed in the same minute. In one minute, you will perform five up-downs, so that's our burpee without the push-up. Five jump lunges plus squat, so it's actually 10 total jump lunges and one squat. So I'll demonstrate what that'll look like, and then five hand release push ups in an EMOM setting. So uh, the faster you go, the more rest you have, or you can look at it from a sustainable output standpoint where maybe I try to go 45 seconds every single round and then I get 15 seconds of rest no matter how fast or slow I feel that I can go. To go over movements, so we have our up-down. We've been doing a lot of these. Little jump at the top. As such, burpee, no push-up. Into five total of a jump lunge plus a squat. So that's going to be a jump lunge on each leg. So I'm here, jump, jump, into my squat stance, jump. Jump as such, and then we're going to go five hand release push ups. Here, hands physically leave the floor as such. Um, pretty straightforward there. Like I said, once you have all of the work completed in that first minute, you get to rest the remaining minute. Um, and then you'd repeat on the second. So I'll demonstrate one minute here to show you guys kind of what a complete set would look like. So now we're to one minute intervals. First minute we're going to 10. Starting with five up downs. into our jump lunge. Five hand release push-ups.
Then in 15 seconds, I would start right back at the top, repeat for 10 minutes. This will be pretty challenging. Now, something I do want to talk about as far as if any of these movements, so I'll pull back up the whiteboard view. Okay, so maybe, you know, we don't have great lower body endurance or probably more common, we don't have great upper body endurance, so push-ups get really, really hard. If one of the movements within the imam starts to break down, it is okay to scale back the rep. So, for example, maybe I can't do 10 lunges and five squats. Maybe I do three total um, total complexes here. So it'd be six jump lunges plus three squats, or maybe I decrease from five to three reps of the hand release push up. That is okay. We're still going to get the given kind of um, workout that we're looking for. We're getting a lot of volume. Heart rate's going to be up the whole time. Um, that's totally okay. What I don't want to happen is we just turn this into an AMRAP and then we actually don't get the desired you know, volume or intensity that we're looking there, looking to get here today. So um, I'll get this uploaded. Enjoy the workout today, guys. And we'll be right back at it tomorrow.